New York City's mediatic emanations are multiple and ubiquitous. The production, dissemination and consumption of the city's mediated self composes a vast, swirling and dynamic media ecology, analogous, in a sense, to the equally sublime ecology of the city itself, its systematic interconnections between built form, flow, population, environment, economics, subjective effect and more. This is a book about the manifold relationship between these two complex objects of sublimity, between New York City and its mediated representation. Today, it is perhaps a truism that one's experience of urbanism is always intertwined with the expectations conditioned by media. Indeed, mediated representations of our cities saturate every corner of urban life. But this apparent second nature of the contemporary city is in fact naturalized, the summary effect of identifiable actors, political and economic interests and pervasive cultural sensibilities. This book forwards a partial history of that naturalization by tracing one series of developments through which New York City and its mediated representation became intertwined. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, the John Lindsay administration created innovative policies to draw on-location media production to the city. Simultaneously, the New York City Planning Commission and associated offices produced a wealth of documents that clearly reflect the conceptual and aesthetic influence of various visual media. McLean Clatter's book, Imaginary Apparatus, describes the relationship between New York and its mediated representation at the conjuncture of these two distinct effects, tracing the interrelation of their attendant cultural, economic and aesthetic valences and analyzing the effects of the Lindsay-era policies on New York City's built environment. <laughs>